Hi, I'm Phil Morse, the founder of Digital DJ Tips, and I'm really excited to bring you today our Getting Started with Tractor mini video series. You know, we decided to make this series because we, we saw a feeling out there that getting going in digital DJing is somehow difficult and expensive and you need to be a certain kind of person, you know, a controllerist freak or a techno geek or something, that there's something hard about it. And that's just not true. You know, we're here to help beginners get past that stage. Now using the demo version of Tractor and nothing more than the laptop you already own, it's perfectly possible to nail all the basics of digital DJing really easily and to have a lot of fun doing so. And that's what this series is it's designed to get you doing. So we're going to start at the very beginning with downloading the software, getting it working on your laptop, then we're going to talk you through getting the music, putting your first tracks onto the decks and doing your very first mix, then we're going to talk to you about beat mixing and using the sync button, and then move on to some of the more exciting stuff like effects and loops and filters and EQs and so on. And the idea is to empower you to then go on and do more yourself once you've got past the basics. So the person teaching you this course is Steve Canueto, who is our senior tutor and also our tractor specialist. So really, without further ado, over to you, Steve. Thanks, Phil. I'm Steve and I'm going to be your tutor for this series. So let's get started. OK, so first things first, we're going to download the free demo version of Tractor Pro 2. If you've done this already, don't worry, I'm going to go through this very quickly and we'll move straight into installation and setup. But if you haven't yet, here's how to get it. Go to Google, type in download Tractor demo, get your results and the first result you'll get will be nativeinstruments.com, which is the official demo download site. That will take you to this page here and all you need to do here is put in your email address and your country of residence and click get download link. Then Tractor will send you an email with a unique link which lasts for 48 hours and then it will take you to this page and then depending on whether you've got Mac or PC click the relevant download button and download the installer to your computer. So now we'll move on to installing for both Mac and PC users. So for Mac, once the download is completed, you'll have a disk image like this saved on your computer. In this case, I've got it on my desktop. Double click that to open the installer and double click the installer package there. Click continue through this first part of the process and make sure that you've got the right amount of space required. Then click install. If it asks for a password, put it in here and click install software. This may take a little time, but once it's done and you've got the big green tick, then click close. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to find Tractor on your computer. So by going to the Spotlight search, type Tractor and then double click on Tractor. Once the page opens up, you've got the options here for Demo or Buy or Activate. Uh, and in this case, we're going to be running the demo. So we click Run Demo. And that's it, Tractor is installed. And uh, before we move on to getting set up, we're just going to quickly cover the installation process for PC users. So once downloaded, look for the Tractor zip folder in your downloads, double click to open, go through the normal approval process. When the installer window comes up, make sure that if you have got a controller, it's not connected during this part of the process. Click next, select your language, agree to the terms, go for basic installation, choose your destination folder and click next. Once installed, click finish. You'll find Tractor here on your desktop, double click to open the application and you're ready to go. Fantastic, we're all installed and ready to go. And the first thing that you're gonna be presented with is the Tractor Setup Wizard, which you can see here. Now, if you've already got a DJ controller, this is your opportunity to connect your controller to Tractor, but we're gonna assume that you don't have a controller yet. You just wanna get started with Tractor with the demo version using your laptop only. So uh, we're gonna set this up accordingly. So you don't need to connect anything, you click Next. Next question is, are you using an external controller? And as we've just said, the answer is no. Click next. And now you've got the opportunity to select your deck setup. Now this can be pretty daunting when you first look at it. There's a lot of different choices in here. Most important thing is whatever you do in here now, it doesn't matter, you can change it later on so you can set up the layout however you like and however you prefer for your DJing. But for this tutorial, we're gonna have it just as two track decks. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. Click next, the next thing you'll get is a little summary of what you've just selected and then click finish. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a quick tour around the GUI, which is a graphics user interface, or to you and me, the tractor screen. And the first thing we're gonna do is change our deck layout view so we can see a bit more of what's going on. And we'll do that at this drop down menu at the top here. And we're gonna select the mixer view. So now you can see there's a lot more to look at. And this is pretty much the full feature set view that tractor has to offer. Now before we go on, I just wanted to let you know about one of the real advantages of Tractor, which is that 
everything that you're going to want to do to get started with mixing tunes and uh, and playing around with the software you can do straight out the box just using your mouse or your trackpad and also your keyboard on your computer now below this video there's a download link for you to get the tractor keyboard shortcut mapping which tells you all of the controls that you have over the software straight out the box using your computer's keyboard and whenever I use a keyboard shortcut in any of these tutorial videos you'll see a little graphic come up at the bottom to show you what I'm pressing so hopefully that's helpful to you so let's have a look at what we've got here then first thing I want to do is I want to simplify this view for you massively remember at the beginning when we were in the setup wizard and we chose the two decks layout well what we're trying to do there is we're trying to replicate the classic DJ setup of two decks and a mixer and some tunes to play. So two decks, two individual sources of music where you can actually change the speed of them so you can beat match them with each other. A mixer so that you can mix those two audio sources together and play them out to your audience. And a box of records or a wallet of CDs, basically a collection of tunes that you can call upon to play out. Well, that's exactly what we've got on this screen in its simplest form. Here are the two decks, one on the left, one on the right and here's how you can change the speed of the track so you can beat match it with the other one here's the mixer section in the middle so you can change the volume of each track as you want and you can use a crossfader to fade backwards and forwards between your tracks and here at the bottom of the screen this is pretty much your record collection this is your wallet of CDs or your record box this is where all your tunes are so you can see it's quite simple it's that classic two decks and a mixer and some tunes to play DJ setup now of course there are a couple of other things going on on the screen here so I'm just going to talk you through those at the very top here this is kind of your information section so this is where you're going to find out about whether your controller is connected properly whether your audio setup is connected properly your main level output and also whether your mix is recording or not a bit further over here on the right there are some other controls over the layout view as you've already seen also here you can toggle between browser view this little cog here brings up the preferences pane so you can go much further into the settings and you'll learn more about that later on this little button here is the auto play feature and here you've got a button for full screen mode as well moving further down on the left this is a bank of effects and effects are digital processes that can be applied to your tracks or to your overall mix to make it sound different and to create excitement in your mix so things like delay and reverb and echoes and filters this is where you find them and control them you'll learn a lot more about how to use effects later on in the tutorials over on the right here this is another effects bank but also if you click this little cassette here this will bring up the recorder. Now the recorder is not enabled on the demo version of Tractor. You have to upgrade to the full version for that. But if you want to record your DJ sets, that's where you'll find the recorder. Lastly, let's move over to the middle here. This area here is called the loop recorder. And this is where you can loop either your main output or other sources of audio and you can layer those loops over your mix pretty advanced mixing stuff you may not need it at this stage but that's where it is and then last but not least here this is your main output level this is uh, how loud you've got your music and you've got controls here for snap and quantize and this is all to do with syncing your tracks and beat matching them perfectly you'll learn more about that later on as well so there you go that's a little tour around the window we've got you installed set up you now know what you're looking at on the screen. Hopefully that's been helpful to you. In the next video, we're going to look at audio setup. So we're going to get music playing through your laptop, or we're going to show you how to connect external speakers if you have them, and show you how to get music playing through your headphones. And also we're going to show you how by using an inexpensive splitter cable or a sound card, you can actually turn your laptop into a proper DJ system. So we'll see you then.